Hello friends and welcome to Yes and Yoga for the week of December 6th through December 12th. The card that I picked for this week and our intention is owning my power inspires others to do the same. I am not afraid to shine. So in our yoga practice this week, we're going to focus on the solar plexus again. So that area right above the navel, so the upper belly and then the mid back. And this is the chakra that is associated with power. So whether you are trying to own the power to move forward with your dreams and taking action and inspiring others to do the same, or working with maybe a more subtle kind of power where you are in a challenging situation with someone or yourself and you find the power to find kindness or patience or love. And in that moment, you're inspiring others to do the same as well. So I will see you on the mat and let's get started. So find a comfortable seat. Uh, you can sit on a blanket or a block or even a chair if that feels better for you. And close your eyes or you can find a focal point out in front with a soft gaze. And just take a moment to start notice your breath moving in and out. Feel your heart above your hips and your head above your heart. The crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling, maybe creating a little more space in the back of the neck and feel the shoulders roll down the back. Let your breath bring you into your body. And just notice what's going on, trying not to have any judgments. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Relax your face. And then bring your palms directly onto your upper belly, your solar plexus. And start to breathe into this space. And you can see, sense, or feel yellow light. Inhaling light into your upper belly and mid back and exhale releasing. Just noticing there's no right or wrong here. And then you can release this imagery of the yellow light and say to yourself, it is safe to shine. I own my power. And bring your palms together at your heart. Let's seal the practice with a breath together. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. When you're ready, relax your arms down by your sides. Good. On an inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Feel the shoulders relax down the back. Good, exhale, start to bring your left hand over to the right knee. So if you're in a chair, you can just bring the hand onto the thigh if that feels better. And then the right hand back behind you. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine, just gently, no forcing, just kind of moving from the core. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, twist to the right a little bit more. Good, and then inhale, swing the arms back to center. Exhale over to the other side, right hand to the right thigh or knee and the left hand comes back behind you. Take a couple deep breaths here. Just inhale, lengthening. Exhale, feel your navel start to draw in and intensify the twist internally. So you're not forcing your skeletal structure to be in any certain way. We're just letting our muscles and our breath help us move here. Good. On an inhalation, bring the arms back to center, arms up overhead. And then exhale, arms down by the sides. Awesome. Good. Bring your hands onto your thighs or your knees. And inhale, swing the chest forward. Feel the shoulder blades roll in towards each other and down the back and feel the chest open. You can even lift the chin up a little bit here. Don't let the head drop back. And then exhale, very gently start to round the spine back. So just very subtle movements 
Inhaling forward, feel that solar plexus opening, breathing into the upper belly. Exhale, gently drawing it back. So just think cat-cow, that it's seated. And just move in a way that feels good for you. So maybe just really subtle, small movements here. Good. Exhale, rounding back. Feel the area underneath the shoulder blades, that mid-back start to open. Inhaling forward. Exhale, rounding back. Awesome. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, breathe out of the mouth, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, relax. Good, one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Shake the shoulders out. Relax the shoulders down. So you can start to walk your hands forward and we're gonna to come to tabletop position. So you can pad your knees if you would like. On this concrete floor, I would definitely like to pad my knees. So you can bring your knees onto the blanket, let the ankles hang off the edge. The knees are underneath the hips. The feet are behind the knees, in line with the knees. And the wrists come underneath the shoulders. Or if your wrists are feeling tender, you can place the hands a little further out in front. Good. If at any point your wrists uh, just can't take any more pressure, that's totally fine. You can bring your fists to the floor or you can always just drop the elbows down. So that's a different variation. So if your palms are on the floor, spread the fingers wide, press the tips of the fingers down and push down into the hands so you feel your torso lift away from the floor. Feel the shoulders roll down the back. Inhale here, exhale, start to rock your hips back towards your heels, not necessarily to the heels, just kind of playing and seeing how this feels. And then inhale and rise back up to hands and knees. Exhale, rocking back. And inhale, rising up. Good, exhaling back. Inhale, rising up. Good, stay here, take a breath. And then start to really draw your navel in towards the spine. So you feel the belly lift away from the floor and you feel your abdominals start to activate. And then from this place with your core activated, extend the right foot back behind you. Keep the ball of the foot on the floor for a moment and just notice the alignment of your hips. So a lot of times when I'm teaching, I see people either dropping their hip down or lifting it up. So you want to keep the low back flat, keep the hips in line with each other as if someone could put a, a bowl of soup there and it won't spill up. So keeping this, your hips square down to the ground, you're going to lift the right leg up if that feels good. Keep pushing down into the hands, shoulders roll down the back, navel keeps drawing in on the exhale. You could even rotate your right foot, the pinky toe side, down towards the floor just to help you keep the right hip in line with the left. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, draw the navel in. Good. On your next exhale, drop the right knee back down underneath the right hip. And just kind of rock your hips from side to side. Good. Continue to breathe mindfully. Yeah, bring it back to center. Good. Push down into the hands, shoulders roll down the back. Draw the navel in on an exhale and then extend your left foot back behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your left foot off the floor. Good. Keep your hips in line with each other. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale, lengthening, shoulders roll down the back. Exhale, draw the navel in. Good. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, draw the navel in. Good. On your next exhale, bring the left knee back to the floor and rock the hips from side to side. Good. Bring it back to center. Take a breath. Check in. On an exhale, draw the navel in again and extend your right foot back behind you. You can keep the ball of the foot on the floor or you can lift the right foot up. 
Okay, maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to start to extend your left arm out as well. Okay, feel the left shoulder planting in. So you feel the left shoulder rolled, the left shoulder blade roll down the back. So it's not reaching forward, you're planting that left shoulder in. Keep pushing into the right hand, pushing down into the top of the left foot and the left calf or the left shin. Draw the navel in on the exhale. Take a few deep breaths. Keep the hips square down to the ground. Keep pressing into the right heel. And then exhale, release it all back down. Awesome. Rock the hips from side to side. The fact that you are practicing this yoga practice already means that you have power, the power to give yourself some love. That's the ultimate power, right? Yeah, so bring it back to center, bring the hips back to center. Inhale, lengthen the spine, press the hands into the floor, shoulders roll down the back. Exhale, draw the navel in and extend your left leg this time. You can keep the ball of the foot on the floor or lift the left foot. Keep the hips square down to the ground. You can stay here, you can extend the right arm this time. Plant the right shoulder, shoulder blade, excuse me, down the back. Draw the navel in, push into the left hand, push down to the right shin and the right foot. With each exhale, see if you can tuck the belly in, draw the navel in. Good. And then exhale and release. Great job. Left knee comes down, right hand comes down. Shake the hips from side to side. And let's take a little pressure off the wrist. So go ahead and walk your hands towards your knees and come to standing on the knees. Bring the arms out in front, roll the wrists around in one direction. Good, pause in the center, roll the other way. Good, and then relax the arms down. Good, start to walk your hands forward again. Good, come back to tabletop, press the tips of the fingers down into the floor, press the hands into the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the navel in and extend the right leg back behind you. Maybe you want to lift the left leg here. Good. So you can stay here or you can flow with me as we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw your right knee in and your left elbow in, rounding in the center. And then inhale, lengthen. Keep the belly activated. Good. Keep the hips in line with each other. Exhale, drawing in. So it's as if you're moving from your core. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, drawing in. So we are moving from the core, but that's where all of our focus is. As we inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw in. Good. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, bring the left hand to the floor and the right knee. Rock the hips from side to side. Good, bring it back to center. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine, press into the floor. Exhale, draw the navel and extend the left leg back behind you. So you can keep the ball of foot on the floor, you can lift the left leg, you can lift the right arm out, you can stay here, plant the shoulder into the right shoulder blade down the back. Inhale here. Maybe you wanna flow as you exhale, draw the right elbow in towards the core and the left knee in. And inhale, extend, focusing on your solar plexus, focus on the navel. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drawing in. Good, one more time, inhale. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, release it, woo wee. Drop the left knee down, rock the hips from side to side. Awesome work. Good, bring the hips back to center. Press the tips of the fingers down. Curl the toes under. And lift up into downward dog. As you lift the knees, keep the knees bent. Push into the hands. And take a few deep breaths here. Keep some space in the mid spine. 
If you feel your lower ribs start to jut out, just draw the lower ribs in. Inhale here. Exhale, walk your feet towards your hands and come into a forward fold. Bend the knees generously. You can bring your hands onto a block or even a chair or if it feels good, you can bring the hands down to the floor. Maybe you can relax your head and neck down as you reach the crown of the head towards the floor. And start to breathe into the upper back. And then breathe a little bit deeper as you breathe into the mid back, that area under the shoulder blades. Really breathing into the lower lobes of our lungs. Good, and then when you're ready, take your time. You can let the arms hang, or you can bring your hands on top of your thighs for low back support as you slowly start to roll up the spine. Take as many breaths as you need to. No rush. Arms reach up overhead when you're ready. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath. Feel the weight in your feet. Feel the shoulders roll down the back. Good. When you're ready, relax the arms down. I'm just gonna move my blanket off the mat. You might wanna do that as well. And then from here, you're gonna bring your hands onto your hips. You're gonna feel that activation of the core. And notice how it helps you draw your tailbone down towards the floor. And your hip bones are lifting up just creating a lot of space in the low back. So from this place of activation, step your right foot back behind you, and we're gonna come onto the ball of the right foot. So if that doesn't feel good for you, you can keep the back foot flat for traditional warrior one. Good. So if your heel is lifted, you're on the ball of the right foot, the right heel is pressing back, and the tailbone's drawing down. Go ahead and straighten the left leg for a moment. Find the alignment of the spine, and then start to move your left knee forward. So if you need more flexibility here, you can always start over, straighten the left leg, step the right foot back, and then bend the left knee again. Just make sure that left knee doesn't go forward past the ankle. We want to protect our lovely knees. So when you're ready, bring the arms up overhead. Shoulders roll down the back. And take a few deep breaths here, breathing all the way into the back foot. And with each exhalation, you can activate the core by drawing the navel in. Good. If you feel your lower ribs are splaying out, go ahead and draw the lower ribs in, creating some more space in the back. A couple deep breaths here. Good. And then straighten the left leg, relax the arms down. Really strong core as you step the back foot forward. So you can do little baby steps or one big long step. Lift the knees. Good. Find your stable stance. Hands on the hips. Feel the core activate as you step your left foot back behind you. Coming onto the ball of the back foot or you can keep the back foot flat. Everyone go ahead and straighten the front leg. Find the alignment of the spine. Feel the tailbone drawing down start to move the right knee forward. If it doesn't go all the way to the ankle, NBD, no big deal. Just make sure the knee doesn't go past the ankle. So take a couple deep breaths here, and you can lift your arms up when you're ready. Shoulders roll down the back. Good. Feel your solar plexus opening, so not jutting out, but you're lengthening and rising, creating space in between the rib cage and hips. You keep the tailbone drawing down, so there's space in the low back and the mid back. And feel the shoulders plant down the back. Take a few deep breaths here. Enjoying your power and strength. Good, one more deep breath here. And then exhale, release. Relax the arms down, straighten the front leg. Inhale, exhale, strong core as you step the back foot forward. Good, lift the knees. Good. Find your stable stance. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, palms together. Slide the hands down as you bend the knees. 
Hinge at the hips and fold forward. Bring your hands onto the floor or a block or the chair. Maybe you want to nod the head yes. Maybe this time you want to hold opposite elbows. And that's going to add weight in the torso. So you feel the torso pulling down towards the floor. You feel the crown of the head pulling down towards the floor. And breathe into the mid-back. Breathe into your solar plexus. Deep breaths. Exhale, relax the arms down. Slowly start to roll up the spine, no rush. Arms reach up overhead when you're ready. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath. Feel the weight in your feet, feel your hands touching. Good, and then relax the arms down. We're gonna come into a wide stance. Bloop, so you can, the length of your stance is the length of your own legs, your own personal leg. And then you're gonna pivot both feet slightly out, so the angle of your feet is up to you. Now bring the hands onto the hips. If at any point that doesn't feel good because your shoulders are tight, you can just bring your hands down onto your thighs. So feel the tailbone drawing down as you activate the core. Keep the heart above the hips, the head above the heart. As you start to bend your knees and hinge at your hips and squat down into a goddess pose. So you can adjust your feet here if you need to. Just make sure that you're not leaning forward. So keep the alignment of the spine. And then bring the arms into cactus arms, as I like to call them, palms facing towards each other. Good. And feel the shoulder blades roll down the back. Feel the tailbone drawing down so that mid-back area isn't pinching into kind of like a back bend here. You're lengthening the spine. Take a few deep breaths here, breathing all the way down deep into the feet. Feel your solar plexus open here as you breathe into the upper belly. And say to yourself, I own my power. Good, straighten the legs, relax the arms down. Pivot the feet forward, just kind of bend one knee at a time and rock the hips from side to side. Good, and then bring it back to center. Walk your feet together, lift the knees. Good, from here you're gonna find a comfortable way to come to a seated position. So again, you can sit on a block or a blanket, or even a chair. Because you really, we're gonna practice a little twist and you really wanna make sure that your spine is aligned. So if you're sitting on a blanket or a block, make sure you're sitting on the very edge and that way your pelvis can tilt forward, creating a little more space in the low back. Coming into a cross-legged position or you can sit in a chair. Good, and you're gonna bring the arms out. Good, feel the shoulders roll down the back. And then just rotate the palms facing up and feel the chest open, maybe even the upper belly. But just notice if you're kind of jutting the chest forward, create some space in the mid back. Good. And then exhale, palms down. And inhale, palms up. And exhale, palms down. <laughs> palms on palms. Inhale. And exhale, palms down. Good. One more time. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Good, relax the arms down. Shake the shoulders out. Relax the shoulders down. Okay, let's do a little shoulder thing one more time. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders out to the ears and then exhale out of the mouth, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, relax. Good, one more time, inhale, squeeze. And exhale, relax. Now bring your arms into little Lego arms, like robot arms. So the wrists are in front of the elbows, the arms are down by the sides, and the palms face in towards each other. So you're gonna just start to activate your upper back muscles. So those muscles behind the shoulders and even maybe under the shoulder blades and between the shoulder blades, you're gonna just start to squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. So the arms, aren't really doing a lot. They're just kind of hanging out. You're really using the muscles in the upper back. Just kind of squeeze, little pulses. 
So see if you can use those muscles right behind the shoulders, those teres major and minor muscles. Good. Just helping us to not only open our solar plexus, but also our heart center. Good. Just kind of squeezing little pulses. And the next time you squeeze, see if you can stay here for a couple of breaths. Lengthen the spine, so the shoulders roll down the back. And then exhale, release, good job. Bring the arms out in front, so you can kind of just move your hands towards each other if that feels better. You can bring the fingertips towards each other and squeeze and press there and breathe into the upper back. Shoulders are moving down away from the ears. Good. You can even clasp the hands, maybe slight bend in the elbows as you move the upper arms away from each other and take a few deep breaths. Feel free to close your eyes and just breathe into the upper back. See if you can breathe all the way into the mid back as well. Good, and then exhale and relax. Let's do a little counter pose. Just bring the hands back behind you for a moment. Good, you can even clasp the hands if that feels good for the shoulders. Good, inhale and exhale, relax. Good, bring your right hand on top of your right shoulder and your left hand on top of your left shoulder. Shoulder blades roll down the back. Make sure that you can find a comfortable place to really feel aligned here. This is a kundalini practice, opening the solar plexus, and you might also start to notice some stagnant energy in the heart moving as well. So we'll start slow, and you can move slow, as slow as you would like. <laughs> so just be comfortable and safe. So you're going to inhale, just twist the body towards the right a bit, and then exhaling to the left. And then inhaling to the right and exhaling to the left. Good. Just a few more rounds just like that at your own pace. Inhale, twist. Exhale to the left. You can speed up if you would like. And inhaling left, exhaling right. And make sure the shoulders keep moving down the back. Don't let them scooch up to the ears. And moving as fast or as slow as you would like. Just make sure that you're doing what's right for your body. Inhaling left, exhaling right. I'll leave you alone for about 30 more seconds. awareness into the solar plexus. Just a couple more rounds. You got this. Inhaling right, exhaling left. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, relax the arms down. Good. Just for a moment, bring your left ear over to the left shoulder. You can reach the right fingertips out to the side of it, take a breath, inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Very gently bring your head over to the other side, right ear to right shoulder, you can walk your left hand out a bit, inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Good, bring the head back to center. And then from here, just find a comfortable way Come all the way onto your back. Good. You can pat. I like to put a blanket under my head. It's just a little more comfortable. And just rolling all the way onto the back. Bring your knees into your chest. Take a breath. Good. And then extend both legs out onto the floor. We're going to practice just one more pose before our delicious relaxation pose. Delicious Shavasana. So bring the right knee in towards the chest, and you can hold on back behind the right thigh or the right knee or on top of the right knee. And just take a couple deep breaths in here, pulling the right knee towards you. And then bring the right arm out to the side, 
and the left hand comes onto the knee. So if this feels good, you're gonna twist to the left as you draw your right knee over towards the left. The hips can stack as the right hip lifts. So just be mindful of the low back. I like this pose because we're getting a hip stretch and we're twisting. So breathe into the belly, breathe into the hip, breathe into wherever you feel this pose. I personally like to gaze up towards the ceiling, but if you'd like, you can gaze towards the right fingertips. So one more deep breath here. Breathing into the belly, exhale, softening. And then inhale, bring the right knee back to center, right foot to the floor, extend the right foot all the way out. Draw the left knee in. So hold on to the left thigh or the left knee and take a couple deep breaths, breathing, softening the face, softening the chest and the shoulders. And then bring your right hand onto your knee, your left arm comes out to the side. This is optional to so do what feels good for your hips and low back. As you start to draw your knee over towards the right, the hips can stack as the left hip lifts. Deep breaths into the belly, into the hip, wherever you feel this pose. Try to relax your face and your upper body. Focusing on your breath. And then bring your leg back, bring the knee back to center. Good, left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor. Draw the knees into the chest. So take a couple deep breaths here. You can even, if it feels good, kind of round up into a little ball as you draw your forehead towards your knees. And then exhale, release it all for final relaxation pose. You can bring your feet to the floor and slide your legs out. If your low back is feeling tight, feel free to place a pillow or a rolled up blanket, or if you have a bolster, place it under the knees. But if it feels good, you can extend your legs all the way out. Arms are kind of in a lazy T, so not right next to you and not out in a T, but somewhere in between. So you feel the shoulder blades naturally kind of roll in towards each other, the palms facing up towards the ceiling. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Inhale into your solar plexus, your upper belly and mid back. Exhale, feel these muscles soften, release. staying here for just a couple more minutes to integrate the practice into our bodies as our connective tissue cools down and reshapes into this new powerful form that you created. And also just integrating it into your mind as well, kind of like a little reset button. There's no right or wrong here. Your mind can wander. You can focus on the breath, you can focus on the sensation of your body on the floor, relax your face, your jaw, the muscles in your head, relax your throat and neck and your shoulders and arms and hands, soften the muscles in your chest and upper back. Relax your mid belly again and relax your low back. Relax your low belly and your low back. Release your hips, your buttocks, your pelvic floor. 
thighs, your knees, your calves and shins and ankles and feet. And feel your entire body warm and heavy sinking down into the surface below. Knowing there's power in your ability to rest and recharge. That's a really big part of it. When you're ready, you can start to notice your breath moving in and out. Start to slowly wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, circling the ankles and the wrists. Finding a little stretch here. And then one at a time, draw your knees into your chest. And rolling over onto your side. You can use your bottom arm as a pillow. Take a breath here. And then push into the hands, slowly come back up. Come to a seated position. I'm going to sit on my blanket. Finding a comfortable seat. Bring your hands directly onto your solar plexus. Take a few breaths, noticing and enjoying the space that you created. We're going to chant the mantra RAM, R-A-M. It's associated with the solar plexus. So you can chant or you can just listen. It's going to sound like this, RAM. And you can also imagine that See, sense, or feel yellow light, like a sun radiating from your upper belly and mid-back. We're going to take a full deep breath first. Inhale. And then exhale. And then inhale to chant. to yourself, I own my power. It is safe to shine. Bring your palms together at your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. The light within me bows to the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week owning your power and shining like the stars that you are. I love you.